Hey, what's good? Enix Mini here with another video. Um, it's been like forever though. How y'all doing? Okay, so um, for a couple weeks now, I haven't been quite active, like trying to fix my schedule with my um, schooling and stuff. And I got a new PC and I got a new microphone, so hopefully we can get more quality content from now on. So today we're talking about the auto tune. Yeah, the auto tune. So this track i'll be muting the beat because i think this is a free beat so i'm not trying to like get issues with youtube and stuff as you can see here these are my effects my effects this is my mixing chain so there are some plugins i took away they weren't really necessary for me and these are the artists there are three artists so i was basically i linked their each of their vocals to um different mixing channels so if i need to do anything um change fix anything in any of them for example that like eq i just go i'll just go ahead and add an eq for like here i'm linking all of them here to save both cpu and time for me you can do that too we'll be talking about the auto tone as you can see here right here it's telling it's saying i'm using um 8.1 because i had an 8.1 too so, so the pc my pc recognizes this as 8.1 so and you must might be wondering why it is all expanded like this. I actually use the graph method to fix like mono pitch my vocals, just like Newton. You understand what I'm saying? So here we're talking about the automatic method, not the graph method. Let's start from the beginning. Now let's say you have your vocals so it makes a chain. Then doing your auto tune in it. So First of all, I go over to this place. Depending on choose your vocal type. Like for me, in most cases I work with auto and tenor. And if it's a female, you can use the soprano. Then if it's an instrument you're trying to auto tune, you can choose it here and bass and so on. And here is the place where you choose your key. So this is a scale. Like in my case here, I'm using the D major scale. And this is the retune. So by default, it should be around 20 something, 25 or 26. Then the more the number, the lesser the effect. Why the lesser the number, the higher the effect. Like in this case, let me play back and you take a listen. And like I said, I'm turning off the beat. I think it's a free beat or so. In my mind, I've been talking. So I'm just gonna reduce it. In my mind, I've been talking. So I'm not really quite um not really done with um the mono pitch. So as you can see here here and there, there are some things I need to tweak in the vocals. So if it's a good voice, I keep my I can take the risk of turning this up as low as four, five, or six. But if it's a, um, a rap vocal, a rap vocal, I take it between 12 to 15, 16, depending on your test. Then over to this place, you can see, I, it's, like, it's just like a bypass. So you can bypass the auto tone. So in this flex tone here, this flex tone here. So basically what it does is allows the, um, the auto tone to flex the vocal. This works more perfectly if there are riffs in the uh, vocals, like when um, an opera singer is singing. You understand what I mean by riffs? The more you increase the flex, the more um, the auto tune allows the um, the vocals to deviate from its original fixed tone. So if this vocal with riffs in it, it makes the vocal sound more distinct and nice. But if it's a rap, bro, turn the shit out to zero. Alright. And this is the harmonize. Hold on. If I hover over this, you can you won't say there. Yeah. As reason to sustain high notes at high return speeds. So I don't really need this that much because as you can see, you know, if you want to fix it in the rap vocal, it's around 12 to 16. You don't need it. But if it's as low as six, you can increase your harmonize a little bit. Just a little bit so it don't sound too robotic you understand and this is a natural vibrato i don't know 
I really don't mess with this that much. Yeah, that's basically I really don't mess with it that much. And this is true length. This is transpose. You can transpose and this is your D2. You understand what I'm saying? Let me play back and why I mess with all this so you understand what I'm saying better. And this is your detour. In my mind, I've been talking. So yeah, this is the tone kind of like adds a more like a semitone or um reduces a semitone. You understand? So it's more like a pitch standard. I don't know. I don't really fuck with this that much. Just the input type, the key, the the scale, the return speed. Sometimes the flex tone. Sometimes they humanize. I don't touch this at all. And that's basically it. And yeah, so that's it for the video. And if you like this video, if you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and drop a comment in the comment section. What else you find difficult in FS Studio? And I'll make sure to make a video on it as quick as I can. And yeah, make sure to subscribe. Peace out.